<laughs> okay, so we decided to do something a little bit different today and the kids are in control. They're going to video the chores and they're gonna walk around the farm and give you all the updates. Um, I'm not really concerned. This is a good opportunity for them. Yep. Um, so make sure you give them some support. Give them a thumbs up because they work very hard on the farm and they are very good kids. They're learning a lot and we appreciate them so much. We would not be four kids in a farm without our four kids. Yep, they're fantastic. They're fantastic. They're fantastic. We did good. We did do good. Be prepared. <laughs> give us some grace. Give, give us a lot of grace. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Out of the mouth of babes is, yeah, no. it'll be fun. It'll be fun, it'll be fine. Yeah. We're not horrible people. It's not like in the background we're like, Ooh, we're different people. Like, we're real. We're real humans and we make mistakes and we get frustrated and we get happy and we have the whole range of emotions here on our farm. We're human. We're human. Just like you. I know. I just hope they don't tell all of our deep, dark secrets. We're about to reveal all our secrets. No, just kidding. Today, we are going to show you how farm life is from our point of view. I mean, we love this life. Um, it's really nice, and we're gonna be taking you along with us. We're gonna be doing our chores. We're gonna be giving you some stuff that is not often featured on Four Kids on a Farm. Um, I hope that came out the way it should but um <laughs> so yeah we're just gonna be giving you like an in-depth point of view um on how it is from the kids perspective so follow us along and uh yeah like like this video hit that notification bell and uh yeah follow us up. i've said that way too many times and uh, let's get started i guess <laughs> so these are the ducks um they're quite loud and um, as you can see, we have them right next to the house. Um, they're really stinky and they're really loud and mom does not like them. Now, the reason we keep them here is because um, a while back, a bunch of predators were, uh, a bunch of foxes and raccoons and stuff kept eating our ducks and we decided to move them here where like, we have this whole area um, fenced off and um, it's better protected from predators if, if one sneaks in like we can usually hear it because we have two dogs who are very energetic very good at what they do so um yeah this area is well protected so that's why we keep them here so uh, i'm gonna let them out so that they can go to the pun so let's see if i can do this one handed. So notice we have this pond over here, but the ducks are going over there, or, well, they tend to go over that way, and that's because um, we tend to have a sprinkler over there quite a lot. And a lot of water over there because we've got um, cows and pigs and chickens there. So that has created um, a nice little pond that the ducks like to swim around in. So I don't know why they go over there. Like that pond is like, I don't know, two feet deep versus this one, which is like 20 feet deep. But they like it and that's all that matters. So, so sorry about the lightning, folks. Um, <clears throat> we've had kind of a late start today, but. Whoop. One of the recent things that's been going on, um, Alora just called me over. So, our duck, so our ducks have been, laid, have been laying a lot of eggs. And like they'll give us ah, well over a dozen each morning. And we have so many that we don't know what to do with them. Like, we're feeding them to the pigs, like, so it's kind of a blessing and a curse, I guess, because 
Well, I mean, we're getting plenty of deck eggs, which is awesome. But at the same time, we're not using them all. So, like, we've got some on the counter from, like, two weeks ago um, that we don't know what to do with. So we're reaching the point where we're feeding, like, dozens to the pigs. So, yeah, I don't know if it's a blessing or a curse, but it's probably a mixture of both. So this is why you keep your gates closed, ladies and gentlemen. Ducks get through so much, and it is a pain. So this is one of the more fun aspects of the farm. It's this gigantic pile of hay. Um, and we need it because of the large amount of hay eating animals on the farm. I don't know if there's an actual like name for that type of animal, but um, yeah, that's we call them the animals because they eat hay. And so the way we do chores here, we have I guess you could say we each have an assigned animal or animals plural. Um, I'm in charge of the chickens and ducks. Um, the chickens and the chicken coop, that is. Um, Brixton takes over um, the growing chickens. That means, like, the, the chickens in the tractor, um, the baby chicks, and all the chicks that are... The, all the birds that have not quite gotten into the coop yet. Yep. And then this lassie is in charge of all the hay animals. Um, all the animals that eat hay, cows, goats, sheep, etc., etc., and then Cade um, has, I say it's the easiest job. Um, he has the pigs and the turkeys, um, which with the turkeys, you just have to let out and put back in and collect eggs. And the pigs, they're a little bit, they're a little more hard, but still. So, uh, yeah. So, you wanna finish loading that, loading that baby up? Cool. So, despite us having a sort of system for how, for how this way works, like, it does get a little more, co a little complicated in some instances. Um, like, the littles get distracted a lot. Um, it often takes a while to get them out into the field and to start feeding. Is loading up? <laughs> um, but, I don't know. That's kind of how life works. There's, like... It gets a little complicated at, at sometimes, and at other times it's like a piece of cake. Fix that. Get that on. Chuck it on there. Yeah, good job. We just need one of those uh, pulley thingamajiggies that you just haul bales off with. Yeah, that'd be fun. Oh. So Big C, what is your area of expertise? Um, I do pigs and I do turkeys. So I let them, I let them out every day. But I bet you AJ let them out today. I don't know. But I did not. It was probably Dad or yeah. Some, well, and then pigs. I have to get a bucket full of grain and stuff. Like you got that right about two to this high. Uh -huh. Then I soak it every day, and I just go in, turn off the electric fence, feed them, make sure they have water, and yeah. And also, uh, if you can see, I have allergies. Yeah, allergies are terrible. So I just described your job as easy. Is it is it as easy as I made it as I made it sound? Well. I don't know. Yeah, I guess. But <laughs> sometimes we move them like Maybe. every like once a week. Like Pigs, once, yeah. Yeah. So that's always fun. <laughs> yeah. All right, you got it loaded up. So these are the sheep, and um, they are one of our favorite animals when they're good um 
I mean, I personally like I like them when they're not out, when they're contained, and when they are um, just eating hay. That's when I'm happy. But when they get out, like if a single sheep gets out, I know it means trouble because um, Dad gets all riled up, and then I get all riled up, and I get stressed out, and um, I can't find good lighting here. I'm sorry. <laughs> But dad gets all stressed out, and then I get all stressed out, and then um, we all get stressed out, and it's like the most confusing and uh, frustrating job of all time. I don't mean to say anything mean against my dad, but I mean, he goes ballistic when a single sheep gets out. And then we have to run it back in, and yeah, it's one of the most frustrating jobs on the planet. So what's your favorite animal on the farm? Mm. Do you have one? Dogs. The dogs? Yeah. You have a favorite like barnyard animal? The goose. The goose? Yeah. You like the goose? The goose is pretty fun, yeah. So real quickly, I just wanted to give an update on the phone situation. Um, we've been talking to mom and dad, mom and dad have been talking amongst themselves, and I think we've come to an agreement. Um, we've decided that 14 is the ideal age. Um, we found um, an ideal brand of phone. It's called the Pinwheel. It doesn't have any internet and no Google, and like the only game on there is a children's chess. So, like it, um, but it has like plenty of the necessary apps for us. Um, like there's, um, it allows us to text. It has Marco Polo, which is an app that allows you to like stay in touch with your family. It has religious apps that we can use like when we're at church and stuff like that. So it's probably like the most useful phone that we can possibly get. We've agreed that we're paying it for it ourselves and mom and dad have to have yet to work on the rules but still um yeah we're still in the it's still in the development but please put in the comments your support like if you support us please we would love your feedback and your support for team kids on to the next animal okay i haven't done this in a while okay welcome back to cade cam all right we've got our bucket of feed and we're gonna go feed the pigs. So, this is kind of a problem when I'm feeding pigs, is the turkeys. They always try to come eat the food. So what is your least favorite part about the pigs? Um, I would say it's kind of feeding them because they just come over and tackle you. <laughs> yes, that's true. Like if you just saw, like, I just got tackled by the pigs. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so now we're going to fill up the pig's water. We need to turn it on. Alright, so what we're doing now, we're just going to wash out these two totes, and yeah, so we're going to wash them out, and then we're going to fill it up, so now we're going to fill these up. Oh, 
Okay, one thing I do have to say. We've never, like, videoed on our own before. So, don't judge us by this. Okay, we've, like, never done it before. Just wanted to update you guys on the garden. Um, here are the carrots. They are growing pretty fast. They're, like, a little bit big, but not, like, the carrot size you would want. Alright, and then this is our lettuce. Just all of these. And, um, these, I forget, I think... These are all garlic. So yeah. And then we have all our cover crop. Just all of this. It's getting pretty big. And then we're starting to grow asparagus. These are our asparagus beds. So how we got asparagus Mom's friend gave her like, I don't know, probably like 200 or 250 of the asparagus, like, shoots. So, and they're supposed to grow, like, start growing in about like two years. Because, I don't know if you knew this, but... Asparagus takes a long time to grow, like so long. And then these are some of my mom's flowers that she's growing. A really beautiful bright orange. And then there's a yellow one too. So yeah, that's the, I think it's the yard garden. I don't know. But... Yep, and that's all for now. We'll get to all our evening chores. We have planned we're going to put hay in the turkey pen. I am, at least. And, yeah, we're going to do some work in the garden. Stay tuned for that, and we'll see you after our school. All right. It is now getting to that time where we have to give our animals the their evening their evening food their dinner if you will. Say hi, Lily. So I'm gonna help my little bro out with the chickens, the tractor chickens. So we actually have. Uh, so we have several tractors here at four kids, are, four kids on a Farm, several chicken tractors that is. And it is Brixton's job to take care of them. Quite sweet. So, what do you feed the chicks, Beth? Pellets. Pellets. Yeah, layer pellets, right? Yeah. Cool. Wait, layer pellets? Or grower pellets, I, I don't know. What? Oh, you did really hot. Oh, Bricky. Watch out for the fence there. Okay, man. So the only way to so the only way to access the chicken coop is you can either go over the cow fencing, which is not the most pre pleasant thing to do in my opinion, or go between those two electric fences, which is not the most pleasant thing to do either, or you can take my way. And that, and that involves it's kind of doing it. How about hop over that? Doing a Hoppity hop over that one, and then we get over 
few chickens. Oh. <clears throat> so, these are the meat birds. We're gonna harvest them and eat them. <laughs> so, that is the ingenious, uh, oh, I forget the fancy term dad gave it. The, uh, dad insert a word here, something like that. <laughs> uh, that is the latest in our chicken tractor designs, I guess you could have to say, um, there are, whoa, big grief, <laughs> um, there are wheels on the bottom, it allows, it allows them to, it allows the tractor, I'm sorry, I'm losing my train of thought here, to move a lot easier than, um, a normal sliding one like the one we have, uh, over there, and, that door also doubles as a ramp for them to get out and they will go in there and then we'll latch it up at night and yeah, let them sleep. And as an added measure of protection, we have this premium one something. Um, this stuff is designed for poultry and it works amazingly. Um, so far, none of, none of those chickens have got out, at least I don't think. Brixton! Have any chickens escaped from that? Yeah. How many? Today. Recently. Uh, like, yeah. I don't know how many. Like escaped from the fencing yeah, or? That was just because I I stand corrected. <laughs> um, but yeah, this stuff is awesome for uh, for poultry, for other animals, and uh, it hurts a lot. Unfortunately, we do speak from experience. And that's pretty much Brixton for you. Uh, one of the hardest workers here, at least from my point of view. Yeah, we've got the pigs there. Kate's gonna feed them in, well, sometime, I don't know. And then the chickens. Let me flip this thing around. Um, I was a bit startled because these pigs just came dashing out of nowhere and I don't know, it made me jump. Over. These guys I'm probably gonna have to feed a little tonight, so I will just go get that food for them. So this is just something I like to do <laughs> at the end of the day. Um, I think it was in 2020 when we dug our pond. Um, our neighbor um, left this giant mound of dirt up here and now it provides one of the best um, views in all of the farm. Probably the best view actually. And this is just a nice place for me to think. Um, and like said, I mean the view is just amazing. Come on, you guys. So at the end of the day, do we like this lifestyle? Of course. Does it get a bit hard sometimes? Definitely. But is it worth it in the end? Of course. Like, I mean, yes, catching sheep is a pain, but I mean, there's nothing more special than seeing a newborn baby lamb. Yes, butchering chickens is 
um, a lot of hard work and it's really disgusting. But nothing beats farm fresh chicken for dinner. The blessings come with trials, I guess you could say. Um, yes, it is hard, but also it's extremely rewarding in the end. I mean, I didn't know the actual definition of hard work until we moved here, and I'm, in, I'm extremely grateful for it. Thanks for hanging with us, guys. Thanks for tagging along with us. <laughs> Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thank you for joining us on this farm adventure. Make sure to check out our last video right here, here, and we'll see you in the next one.